Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to Telltale's The Walking Dead Season 2. My name is Ryan, and let's get started with the finale. Um, I'm a little scared. I'm still sad because Rebecca's dead. Um, and we kind of left off on a cliffhanger, which I don't know why I say that like it's a surprise every time, but there's a cliffhanger, and <sighs> I'm sad, okay? I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> But I'm kind of nervous for this one because they always bring out the saddest parts for episode Previously five. On The Walking Dead. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. No, it's not. I only need a minute. Should have put you out of your misery right then. When I look at Kenny now, he just he seems broken. Broken people get reckless. They can. But not guaranteed. Here. Thanks. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. Drop it! Drop it! Be this way! Don't move! 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 I wasn't about to shoot first. I'll let someone else take the fall for that. Thank you very much. But also with Jane, I get where she's coming from, but I think she's a little bit too cynical in it, and I think it's 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 too much. I'm not a fan of it. So. That's where I'm with with my opinion on Jane. She makes a lot of good points, but some are too negative and too everyone's gonna die anyway, so it doesn't matter. Kind of like does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. <clears throat> Either way. Can you hear better? I hope so. I think so. Oh shit. Clem, baby girl. Jesus Christ. Why is it all of a sudden just absolute fucking chaos? Fuck you! You started this shit! I didn't look it up, but I have a feeling that they would come after us whether we stole the medicine or not from Arvo. And I'm being dead ass at that. Oh my god. The baby! Did we ever figure out? Like, did Rebecca ever get to name him? I don't remember. Hey! What are you doing? I'm getting that damn baby. Man, Fuck off. Fuck off. I'll get shot. I'm getting the baby. Holy shit. I didn't even see him out Come on, there. man. Good work, Clem. Thank you. Shit. Okay. Okay, Hold the baby's something. ears because these are not good for his. Can't just sit here. Let this guy take pot shots at So do something. I don't know. So quit talking about it and do it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Sorry. This don't have to get any worse than it already is. You can just go. English, motherfucker. I kill every one of you. If I could just get over to that side of the wall, I could maybe get an angle on this guy. Cover me, all right? Just shoot over towards the woods. I'll, I'll try. Yeah. Okay. Good. Hold the baby's Good. ears. I just need the distraction. Okay. All right. I'm not going. Shit. Hey, what are you? Ooh. Thank God. If Luke died, I. Oh. Luke, are you okay? You got me in the leg, but I think, I think it went straight through. Shit, I don't know. <clears throat> we'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. We'll be fine. You get out here! Or I put a bullet in this kid's hand! Shut up! Who's Stevie 
Я прошу, я должен быть с ней. Кенни, что ты делаешь? Я Кенни, бро. Oh, she's gonna turn. Oh my god. Oh shit. She was a zombie, bro. She's already dead. She's a zombie. Don't get mad at me for that. She's already dead. Oh shit. Okay, Jane. Shit. She looks so surprised. Safe to come out. Here, I got him. Okay, well that was a lot. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm not a fan Jesus of Christ. any of this. That was uh that was intense. I thought man, I thought that was it. Yeah, it was for these assholes. Are you are you okay? I think so. No, she's not. I didn't know this man. I never killed someone that didn't wrong me in some way, that didn't deserve it. Tried to pretend he was a walker, but it's different. It is, I'm, I'm sure. Sorry, you had to. It's a hard thing to do. Why do I get the feeling you know all about it? Best not to question it with Clem. You sure about this? As sure as I'm gonna be. Let's go. Poor Rebecca. I get staying in How did this happen? She the supermarket happened. would not have been smart like to that. stay with uh Don't you go blaming yourself, Kenny. What's his name? You did what you had to. The bad guy from episode what two? She just lost too Three? much blood. <clears throat> Ain't nobody's fault. But it would have been the best for Rebecca. You know, we could have done better by her. She was just too far gone. She would have been a good mom. But I think maybe if we had stayed yeah. in the supermarket yeah, and just cleared would. it all out and waited for the herd to go by, Don't worry, Becca. We'll take they'd care have of all boy. the supplies and you rest easy. I don't know. You piece of shit! Ugh. Hey, hey! Stop! Guys, get off Guys, me! Come on! It's over, man. He ain't a threat to us. How can you say that? Of course he is. Get out of the way! Whoa! What are you doing? I'm doing the same thing this asshole tried to do to us. It doesn't have to go down like that. Kenny, please. He wasn't the one shooting at us. That guy's dead. Just because he don't have a gun doesn't mean he wouldn't have. Well, he didn't, so leave him alone. Is it his house? Food? Please. Please, I can thank you. Bullshit. No, no. It's true. We have place not far for food. See? He wants to help. Oh, don't be stupid. He's just trying to save his skin. Why the hell would you help us, huh? I, I now want to see more people dead. Then close your eyes and I'll make it quick. Jesus Christ. Kenny, back off. If he's telling the truth, it could save What is wrong us. with Kenny? I, I think we can trust him. He wants to live as much as we do. It's worth the risk to check this place out. Trust him, don't trust him. It doesn't matter. We should go anyway. We just need to be careful. It can't be far from here. You stay out of this. You're the reason these fuckers came after us in the first Actually, place. Actually, no, that's my Don't fault. Don't try and pin this on me. Lay off, Kenny. She just helped us. I was there with her. It's my fault, too. Think about the baby, Kenny. Bitch. If there are supplies, we need them. We ain't gonna last much longer without more food. Exactly. We gotta take a chance. Unless someone's got a better plan. <sighs> we got something to tie this shit bird up. Yeah, I got something. Follow me, I thank you. Just give me a reason. Yeah, man, he gets it. 
Kenny's too trigger happy for me. I would not want to be in a group with him, personally. It seems like too much of a risk, you know? Which I think I said the same thing last season, or at least something like it. He's just, he's not for me. His personality type is too Look, aggressive. I know you're probably pissed about me leaving. When I heard the gunshots, I, I knew it was a mistake. If it helps, the thing I'd normally do is walk away for good, but I didn't. Despite what my instincts are telling me. So I, what, you want a cookie? I'm just gonna be nice. I'm not pissed. I'm glad you're back. I didn't want you to go in the first place. Thanks. That's, that's good. Because you're probably 90% of the reason I came back. And That's it'd nice. probably get pretty annoying if you hated me the whole time. Wouldn't want it to be annoying. No. That would suck. I'm gonna try to make this work. Listen, I know I was shitting on Jane All I can when do this is episode started. Promise you I won't abandon you again. But. Which, to be fair, I've never done before. Even though I probably should have. A few times now. You don't gotta point the gun at him the whole time forget what we just went through he ain't going anywhere kenny no need to get your arm all sore i'm worried about kenny he's he's in a dark place we gotta keep an eye on him everything he's been through he's lost he'll be okay i've known him a while well it's all starting to pile up it's weighing on him everyone has a breaking point yeah <clears throat> You're the only one that he trusts. That he really trusts. That means you're the one. I'm 11 years back. old. Why is this my job? If we're really going to make this work, I don't like that. They put it way I'll too much best. onto her. I know. Come on, slow pokes. Like, she's a literal, like, fifth grader. Something like that, right? 11 years old, like, fifth grade? Yeah, fifth grade. Something like that. I don't know. Depends on what time of the year you were born, I guess. But she's a fifth grader. Like, <laughs> she hasn't even reached middle school yet. And y'all are putting all of this shit onto her. It's just, it's really, I get it because she basically <sighs> acts like a grown-up. But up. Wait, it's, no, no, I'm, I don't I'm fine. know. Okay, I, just need I don't like that. They need a... Sorry, just, not just baby her like Sarah shoot. was, All right, wait but there. like definitely like hey, not do as I much say? on her, you know. When I tell you something, you fucking listen. You understand? Ew. Kenny, come on. There's no need for that. He's getting what he deserves. I don't like that. I'm fucking talking to you. That's enough. Leave him alone. Just fucking stay put. I'm gonna have a word with Kenny. He doesn't have to treat him that way. Kid's been through enough. You all right here? Yeah, yeah. Go on and talk to him. I got clam if I need anything. Okay. Here, just take the baby. Okay. No. He'll probably calm down a bit if the baby's there. He likes kids. What is it with you guys? What do you mean? Every man I've known is always trying to let each other know how tough they are. Put them in their place. Not every guy is like that. Dominant alpha male horse shit. And it all ends the same way. A lot of them Don't look at though. me. I ain't that guy. Oh, that ain't true. You get in your fair share of pissing matches, too. Do I? Not all like that. There are good men, too. My friend Lee. He was a good man. Well, I yes, wish I had a chance to meet him. Honestly, Luke and Lee would be very good now. friends. Guess it took a woman to talk some sense into him. Looks like Jane broke it up. Keep pressure on it, okay? I'm gonna go fetch some bandages. Damn. Hey, Bonnie. Yeah? I'm sorry. For what? I'll be right back. That's weird. Okay. <clears throat> Damn it. How are you feeling? You got shot the leg. Being honest, uh, I've been better. Do we still have that medication? Maybe that would be 
I don't know. What was it? Oxytocin and whatever? That's pain medication, right? I actually don't know. What kind of medicine is oxys? How did we get here? What kind of medication is oxytocin? What do you mean? Sitting in the snow. Lean up against a tree. Oh, nope. Bullet that is leg. for labor. Never mind. You're alive. Oh. <laughs> when so many of my friends are dead for no good reason. And I couldn't do anything to stop it. Everyone we set out with just gone. Nick, Pete, Alvin, and Becca, Carlos, Sarah. You can't blame yourself. It wasn't your fault. No, not completely. I could have done more, and that ain't up for debate. I know it in my bones, and I gotta live with it. All right, this should work. Yeah, I don't think I could imagine living in this world. And I, I I'm pretty sure I talked about this already, but... Hmm? Uh... Nothing much, you know, complaining mostly. But I was just mentioning how cold it is lately. I yeah. couldn't imagine. Good thing he got that cool jacket, huh? It's I'm cute. sure most of that'll come out with a little soap and water. I couldn't imagine That's living fine. in the world where people that you grow attached to can pass hey, away Clint, so easily. Go over and see if you can change the bandages on Katie's. And I know that's like I real also, life now. I don't think he was comfortable with me doing it. But. But you know him better than I do. Okay. Um, I had a girl. I don't know. There's not really consequences sting, to but only people for a second. getting killed it's here, and I think that's just terrifying. I know what it does? It's gonna suck. It's gotta get down. <clears throat> I mean, not like the justice system really works very well here, but Go on. there's at least you like the it. threat of like getting arrested and stuff that helps. With that, with in this world, that's not a thing. I don't know. It just seems people die go with too Alvin fast. Jr. What do you think? Ooh. Rebecca Natasha. mentioned she'd like to name him Alvin if it was a boy. I mean, Rebecca was so out of it she hadn't settled on her name. I think his parents would have liked that. My cat yeah. knocked it off. Me too. Oh. Alvin Jr. It is. Do you like that? Well, I think AJ approves. AJ, you, uh, that's so cute. Got there. Cause I think I'm all right. I mentioned it earlier. I'm not gonna ask to him. I told her I'm fine. I'm changing I'm your bandage. Changing your bandage. Sounds like I don't have much choice in the matter. Nope, you don't. You shouldn't have to okay. do stuff like this. <clears throat> shouldn't have to do a lot of things. And yet here all we right. are. Let's get it over with. Hopefully it don't scare this little guy. It won't. Or you. It won't. I was gonna comment though earlier, but my camera fell on because someone was playing with my tripod below the camera. The name AJ is very cute. Alvin Jr. named after his dad. So how's it look? It's not bad. I still gonna be pretty when this heals. I'm, I'm so sorry, Kenny. That bad, huh? You ain't got nothing to apologize for, Clementine. This wasn't your doing. It still sucks. I know Kenny, like I said, was... <sighs> this sucks about both Jane and Kenny. They're both very well-written characters because they're not perfect, so, but they're not all bad. I'm guessing this is going to be the shitty part. So this is gonna hurt. So it health. just it struggles because I like them both, but the little. other times I'm like, God, what they do is just annoying, and I couldn't be around them. And I think that's just kind of a part of being human, and I think that's what these writers did so well. Holy fucking hell! With the these two characters especially. You need to stop squirming. Clem. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Clem. <laughs> You're right. Be a little nicer to the man. My goodness. <sighs> Sorry about the language, Junior. You're gonna be tougher than me when you're grown. He's a baby. He literally will not just not know what's going more on. Of a gentleman than I am. Man, is that smart? He'll be tough, just like his dad. Oh, Alvin didn't look it, but yeah, that guy had a pair. Of... I don't believe him, but <laughs> it's just the nice thing to say. Alvin didn't have to die like that. 
I'm gonna think about Dad every time I look at Alvin Jr. here. Alvin should be here, raising this boy. Carver's the one who did it, not you. Yeah, I suppose. But I can't help but feel guilty. It's actually not that bad. It's just really purple due to it being All fresh. Done. Thank you, sweetie. Yep. Are we ready to go? It's going to be a few weeks until it's all healed up. Let's head out. Where's the Russian guy? Oh, there he is. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> but yeah, like I said earlier, the, the writing of Jane and Kenny, I think, are very good because... They have those extremes that I absolutely disagree with, um, and it makes me dislike them a lot. And y'all hear it, me talk about that. But then they also have a lot of positives, and I think that just kind of goes to show how human it? they're written. Hey, I'm talking to you. What? It? It's what? What do you mean, what? The place you're fucking taking us. Arvo, that's not what you're taking us to, right? How much further is the house you were talking about? Answer her, goddammit! Still more work. Some more hours. God damn it! I knew this was gonna happen. This guy fucked us. Put the gun down. Uh, thank you. Don't mention it. It's getting dark. Maybe we should stop for the night. This is bullshit. Relax. Don't tell me to relax. He's lying. He's been lying this whole time. Luke needs a break. We probably all do. Just set up a fire. Look, I'll do whatever you guys want, okay? But I could use the rest. It'd be safer to rest in there, where there's a fence. Can we just try and have a calm, quiet night? Oh. Please. That sounds nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. If Clem's Ouch. saying that. Sorry about that. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. If we're staying, we should scout this place out. All right, y'all wait here. I'll go make sure this ain't some walker nest we're locking ourselves into. I'll go with you. Uh, see if, uh, see if you can calm him down a bit. Little baby. No, that's all you. <laughs> that's so cute. Wouldn't have guessed that it worked. Me neither. I think he likes you. Calmed right down for you. He's cute. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Most babies are pretty ugly this soon after being born. They're awful. That's true. They usually look like weird little aliens. Mm -hmm. Cause they're squished up in the yeah, uterus. I got him. Come on over. It's safe. <clears throat> I kind of feel bad for Arvo. I don't really trust him, but I do feel bad for him. Because that girl, Natasha, was his sister. Gonna have my Natasha right here, and she's so cute. Sorry, that was really bad timing. Um, and then he, just his whole group is dead. In one little... Like that, all dead. <clears throat> Today's my birthday. I can imagine that. Here as I can tell, at least. Well... Happy birthday. How old are you? Link. Yeah, man. Happy birthday. So, how old are you now? I am 27 years old. That's pretty old. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> sure as hell feel a lot older. <laughs> Don't even start with that shit. Got out of college five years ago. Feels like a million years. At least I don't have to I'll be graduating college at 22 as well. Uh, I'm sure there's some asshole sitting on that paperwork waiting to collect. What did you study? Majored in art history. That's cool. <laughs> Sounds like you majored in working in a coffee shop. Pretty much. Oh, stop it. You get a minor in agriculture. Keep the old man happy. That's cute. I have a minor as well. I'm saving it for a special occasion, and while it being your birthday and all, figure this is as good a time as any. Aww. Where did 
did you get it? Bill kept all the alcohol in the armory. He didn't like people imbibing. What's that mean? Drinking. Drinking. Yeah. He, he didn't think people should drink. I feel a little guilty taking the first Whoa, uh... wait! You gotta make a toast. I feel like as long as you're healthily drinking not really and not the, like uh, binging on, every boy. single day or whatever. You don't have to be fancy. A toast Whenever. means we all got something to drink. Oh, we can just pass the bottle around. Whatever anymore. binging means Go to on. you, I think it should be fine. Because <clears throat> I got different uh, cultures. To the loved ones that we've lost drink a lot more than others. So. And to the hope that we see them again. Whatever. Someday. I don't drink very You're often. Here. Sorry, I'm not paying attention that to the game. Nice. <laughs> yeah. I didn't mean for it to rhyme. That was... Well, I got first watch. I think the fence has got us pretty secure. We can't be too careful. Come on, Kenny. Have a At drink. Least have a drink. Ah, maybe later. Lynn, let him go. I'm gonna post up over near the hole in the fence there. Holler if you need anything. Thanks, Kenny. Fire's real nice. Plenty of room if you want to get warm. Maybe in a bit. Poor Arvo is probably shivering. I didn't expect her to come back. Just when I thought I got her figured out, she up and surprises. The good thing, you saved our ass. I know, I know. I just don't know what she's getting at all this. She usually travels by herself. It has to be hard. Maybe she's just lonely. Well, that explained a few things. Oh, come on. I'm just teasing. It was stupid. I understand. She's a pretty girl. Once you get past all the dirt and guts. No. I don't know. Guess I just wanted to forget about all this shit for like ten minutes. Ten minutes? Man, that's longer than I'd last at this point. <laughs> hey. Alright, All right. All right. it wasn't ten minutes. Come on. <clears throat> we got a little one around. <laughs> Sorry. Forget I said anything. I know what you guys are talking about. I certainly hope not. You're talking about kissing stuff. Aww. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. That, that is exactly it. Was there any kissing? You shut your mouth right now. <laughs> the both of you. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> oh? Maybe she came back for you. Could be. I'd come back for you. You know what I mean. <laughs> I you, didn't mean buddy. for it to sound like that. Same. I think Ooh, Luke and... Hey, shut up. <laughs> Don't be modest. Your moves are working on all the ladies. Worked on me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. That's what I would I say. I did it too, didn't I? Sorry. It's the drink talking. Right. Say a drunk man's talk is a sober man's thought. Well, I ain't a man, so they can take that shit somewhere else. Cute. I like Luke and Clem's relationship. They're very Clem, like sibling go see if you relationship. Can get Jane and Kenny over by the fire. It's too cold. For I didn't mean to imply out. otherwise. Oh, and here, maybe a swig of this will change their minds. Ma'am, yes, ma'am. It's rum too. I'm not the biggest fan of rum, we'll say. However, I do like gin. Gin and tonics with a slice of lime. Oof, my grandma makes the best gin and tonics. And, oh, they taste so good. They kind of taste like this. Like, alcoholic version of this to me. And it, it's, mm. They expect you to lure me over there with alcohol? Yes. I wouldn't have expected a bottle to last this long. Will it work? Will it work? That depends. What is it? It's rum? Probably. <laughs> I don't know. It, it might be awkward. I wasn't expecting to... You know. Why? Because you made it with Luke? 
What does that <laughs> even mean? What's the it? You know. Yeah, because I made it with Luke. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Why does this it can feel like be. I'm signing a contract or something? That's really good. Have you had any? Want a sip? It's okay. Yeah. Um, Clem deserves a sip. Sure. The bottle's not there. <laughs> you okay? It's not as bad as the moonshine stuff I had with Nick. Whoa. I'm sure. Moonshine yeah. is... That stuff was like fire. Yeah. <laughs> Moonshine's not good. Moonshine, you you end up with moonshine. You don't go for moonshine. Uh oh. Kind of situation. It. I better take that back. I wasn't too much older than you when I had my first drink. God, I was so stupid back then. There was this time I broke into my parents' liquor cabinet and drank a whole bottle of this really spicy, sweet liquor. Oh, what was its name? I was dumb. Earthquake or something. Fireball. Like you were a bad kid. I guess I was. At the bottom of the bottle, there were these sugar crystals. And I got it in my head that I really wanted to eat a couple. So I got the bright idea to smash it on my parents' dining room floor to get at them. And it shattered into a thousand pieces. That's really wow. stupid. That's really stupid. Yeah, Clem. I was drunk. The problem with glasses, it looks a lot like sugar crystals. That's never really been a problem for me. Keep it that way. My sister found me, drunk, blood pouring out of my mouth. Oh, jeez. Jamie thought I was dying, so she called 911. They pumped my stomach. You ate glass? I ate glass. Mm. I feel like everyone's had glass at least time. once in their life. <laughs> Let me stop. Not, it, mine was not in the same scenario as her, I will say. I guess a deal's a deal. Uh, I'm not going to go into further detail, though. That guy needs a drink more than any of us. <clears throat> yeah. Yes, he does. Time to not make it weird. Relationships are what make humans human. It's good to be near them. Hey. Wanna sit here? No, that's, uh, I'm fine. Oh, yeah, okay, wherever you like. Hmm. Cute. Does Arvo wanna drink? I, I feel for him, cause he just lost his whole family, or at least his sister and people he was traveling with and it's probably not gonna go too well. Hey. I'm, I'm sorry about your sister. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. I don't want to upset him. I mean, he's not 100% innocent at all. But I don't want to further upset him because I don't see the point in that, you know. I miss TV. Feels like forever since we had electricity. That rhymed. <laughs> yeah, not having electricity would be a lot. I think. There, there, little guy. No air conditioning. Shh. And if you're in the south, Shh, I got you. No, I got you. No plumbing. Hey. No clean water. Oh, you gotta hey, do Clem. it all yourself. I'm starting to uh, think she might be a bad influence on you. Girl your age, it ain't right. It's not a big deal. Of all the things I've done that I've seen, I really don't think it's a big deal. Yeah, I I'm sorry. You're right. Sorry, it's not. It's probably not my place to be telling you. She's what not to do. drinking till she's passing out. She's fine. It's a nice night. Granted, she's 11, but still. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna stop. Uh, whatever. Just, uh, needed some air. Kenny, there's air everywhere. I'm sorry for, for how I acted back there after Sarita was... I just... I, I couldn't handle it. I'm sorry. I mean, you did what you could. 
You tried to help, and I blamed you for it. You... you really hurt my feelings. I did my best, and... I know. I was just... in darkness. And you showed up... with some light. But I thought I needed to stay there a little longer. When I should have went with you. Okay. It's not really an excuse, but... I miss my boy. I miss him so much. I didn't raise him like I should have. Made mistakes. Wasn't there a whole lot for a couple years. Off on a boat somewhere or other. I thought I enjoyed that time away from him. From my family. I'd give anything for one more second with them. Play catch with Duck. Touch Katja's face. I miss Duck too. He was a good friend. And I haven't had too many of them. He was a good boy. Pure. Just wanted folks to be happy. That's all. Boy like that. Thrown into a world like this gonna be different with him he's gonna get raised right I won't make the same mistakes again that's a promise something tells me he's not gonna be there you should get back over by the fire ain't no sense in both of us being over here you should come too I don't know come on it'll be good for everyone yeah okay I'm glad he listens to her. So at the very least, it all kind of works out. <clears throat> uh, Jane, you don't have to justify that with a response. Hey, I find it's best to just get this stuff out in the open. Less drama. Well, that's fine. But I can confirm there was no time for kissing. <laughs> all right, enough of that. Hey, you Clem. Hey, guys. It's nice to hear people laughing. Yeah, it is. You just spend so much time trying to stay alive that you don't get a chance to enjoy living. Yeah. That's a quote. We need to make more time for that. Alcohol helps. <laughs> Hell yeah, it does. Let me get that bottle. We got someone else that might need some help. Sounds like a waste of good rum. He lost his sister today. Whose fault was that? Kenny, please, don't let it ruin a nice night. Let it I go. My piece. Let it go. I don't think that boy's a bad person. I just think good people do bad things sometimes. And they do it a lot more nowadays with the world being what it is. So I think it's best. Leave to me just... alone! Sorry, okay? My fault. I shouldn't have. Leave me alone! You stupid. It's okay. It's okay. She's in a better place. Leave him alone. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Maybe it's best if we all get some rest. Who knows how long a walk we got tomorrow. Yeah. That's a good idea. I'll take first watch. Thank you, Kenny. Really. I, uh... Don't mention it. You did good. It was nice while it lasted. That's so sad. You can't even have one night. I don't know. It's just so depressing. I don't know how they keep going in a world like this. Like, I get trying. But I think after you, a point, like this said, you just reach a breaking point, you know? You sure you're good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. If I, if 
I start to crap out, I'll let you know. Okay, will you do that? It's no trouble. How much further? Close. Very close. You've been saying that every time I ask. Please. Come. Oh. I'm really starting to think <gasps> you're full of shit. Kenny, look out! What the fuck? Ah! Ah! Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs> Twin. <clears throat> that was close. Fucker came out of nowhere. That was real loud. Hopefully there aren't more of them. Yeah, well, let's move. We don't want to be around to find out. He's very close. Come. He's very close. Come. I can't do... I call it British. I can't do Russian very well. I do like to pretend I can, though. Just for fun. Why not? Maybe one day it'll be yeah. good. Half piece of shit? It's half built. It's a house. We're here for the supplies, not the house. It's warm. Fireplace. Very warm. As long as there's food, who cares what it looks like? You're not gonna think that when you wake up with a couple inches of snow covering you. Are we just gonna walk over? Why not? Just go around the lake. Maybe there's a way around. I don't see any. Don't say it, an American asshole. It's okay. Walk. Ice. No shit ice. That's the problem. He's saying it's fine. Maybe we shouldn't clump together. Mm. We just can't have too much weight. She's right. We need to spread out. Just to be safe. Less weight, the better. Sorry. Let the Rusky go first, since he's so confident. It's okay. I don't know. <sighs> I don't trust this. I don't trust this at all. Oh god. This is one of my biggest nightmares. Ever since seeing Orphan, I can't do this. Oh my god. Because it has to be like a certain thickness and stuff, right? I don't know. I never lived cold, anywhere cold enough where lakes froze over. But, like, there has to be a certain thickness for it to be safe. And I think, especially... Oh. We're okay. Don't worry. Luke. I don't believe that for a second. I don't believe that for a second. We got some walkers behind us. <clears throat> That's only a few of them. We should be all right. Let's just get to the house. Hey. Stay with us. He's not. <gasps> Guys. That's too less to deal with. Just stay spread out and we'll be fine. Hey. Oh. Motherfucker. Shit. I wouldn't Should trust running Jenny. on the ice. Hear, you <gasps> no. Kenny, don't hurt him. Okay, the baby's okay. I was so scared for that. Well, they made it. Okay, y'all are so close to the edge. Why don't you just go to the edge? Oh. No! Luke! Don't come over here. Hey, I can make it. It's, it's fine. Luke. You sure? Yeah. Luke. You got walkers on the way. Let me help it's too you. Too thin for both of us. I just, I just gotta be careful. Luke, no, Luke, no! Stop! Stop! I'm fine. I'm fine. No, you're not. You gotta get out of there, Luke. Yeah, Clem. I'm working on it. <laughs> you need Sorry. to help. No. Clem, go. Go help him. No, Clem, do Clem, not. Clem, just go back for him. You're lied. You, you Stop can do it. Stop telling her that. Clem, look at me. Pull out your gun. And shoot those damn walkers, okay? Just give me a little time. Claim you can make it. I'm helping him. Need to go. I'm going to him. I'm sorry. She's I'm small. I'm gonna die. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that was the right choice. Got you. <clears throat> oh, he knows he's gonna. gonna be all right. This is not a good choice. 
Shit. 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 Shit! Oh no! Oh no, 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 Let go of me! Wait, where is it? There we go. Let go of me. Let go of me. Okay, we're good. We're good. Jesus Christ. This is awful. Luke? Luke? Luke! Luke! No! I got you. I got you. Come on. Come on. You're gonna be okay. Go. Oh, to the house. We need a fire. Luke. Oh, fuck. She's gonna fucking freeze to death. Luke. God damn it. How the fuck did that happen? How the fuck do you think it happened? There's a fireplace. Christ. We have to get her warm. She's gonna freeze to death. Fuck. I'm googling there's a way to save him. Because this is not fucking okay. She's gone. Luke's fucking gone. Don't say that. We should have gone around. God damn it. We should have just fucking gone around. God damn it. It's my fault. I, sh I should have stayed with him. Said I started to go. Is a Look point there, place. I guess. Just a stack of fucking toothpicks. And those magical supplies are bullshit too. What? No speaking of English? I hate that every time. Fuck you. You fucking commie piece of shit, Kenny. Oh my god. Fuck you. Kenny. Stop. Stop. What? Lose your taste for this sort of thing? Are you fucking kidding me? What did you do to him? There's another just like it. He wasn't lying. Fuck you, Kenny. Seriously. You want to tell me how a can of fucking chili is gonna help? How is baby? beating a kid to death gonna help anyone? This is your fault, and you damn well know it. Goddamn. They're not wrong, but goddamn. I'm tying him up. Fine. Mike. Help me get a fire started. You okay? It's hurt real bad. Mike! Yeah. Yeah, okay. Jesus. <clears throat> you got a light? I thought I had matches. Her hands are shaking. Does that work? It's pretty, uh, pretty cool if it does. Hi, kitty cat. She's out of frame for y'all, but. Don't you steal my rubber bands! Hey! She keeps on stealing my rubber bands for my hair. And I find them in random spots. There's, I found like 30 of them under my bed once. Let me take a look at you, kid. Jesus. 
He could have killed you. The fuck is wrong with him? You're up. Mm hmm. Kenny's out back trying to get some stupid truck started. <clears throat> Here, you should eat something. You okay? Thank you. Like I said, it's. Yeah, Arvo fucked up, but. I can't believe he's gone. It's not his fault, I don't think. Yeah, what the I've fuck? I've people before, but. I looked it up. It just hasn't felt this, and this shitty in a while. He was a great guy. You can't save Luke. God damn it. No matter what you do. And that really. <laughs> I shouldn't have come back. I knew this would happen. I knew it. Well, I'm glad you did. I'm gonna find something to clean that up. Thank you. Thank you. I can't take this shit anymore. I wouldn't be able to either. Feeling better? Yeah. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it, I could use a hand out back with this truck. This house ain't worth the crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. Just... Give me a minute. I'll wait for you out back. I'll watch him. Kenny is... I think they're right about him snapping. I don't want him but to because he's a very nice guy a good portion of time, but... Be careful. I don't know. Him and Jane both, some, there's something. Something's brewing, and it's going to lead to the finale that we're going to experience here in a second. And <clears throat> it's not going to be good. What did she have to say? I know she was running her mouth. What did she say? Well, we didn't talk about you. Really? Really, Kenny. over but aj needs us now we gotta stick together on this you can't thing, just forget right? everything that just happened come on let's see if the truck's gonna go my daddy always had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up he was a mean son bitch but he taught me respect Girl like Jane could learn a thing or two. I don't think those that. two correlate at all. I like her. Just give her some time. Maybe you're right. Hell, I didn't know what to make of Lee at first. Of course, he helped me in mine more times than I can remember. Yeah, he, he did. helped us back on the road. Hey, stop it. Stop it. <clears throat> all right, give it a turn. Mm-mm. We're so close, Clem. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running. And then we can get out on the road and really make some distance. Wellington's gotta be out there. Now those rumors can't all be bunk. We should go back south. Oh, and cross those mountains again? We'll run out of gas and die picking our way down. There's nothing back there for us. Yeah, but dying of All right, turn freezing, it what's it called? I don't even know. Dying of it being too cold seems a little not great either. Did you turn it? Yes. God damn it. <clears throat> hey, hey. Kenny, are you okay? We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. I gotta get this thing to start. Gonna try warming up the battery. Go on inside. 
I don't like leaving him with that girl. Okay. Nice little framing. Okay, Telltale. I see with the what's it called? Like the dual uh focus. Carrie did it a lot in the original Carrie movie. And then did it a lot in Oh, what was that Netflix movie? Where I like you think it's a, about a zombie apocalypse, sort of, but in, it's about like that like violin Wish they'd academy. this place. They do a lot of shots like that. I'm blanking what it's called. It's called like dual focus or something like that. I didn't go to film school. I don't know. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. What's up, girly pop? I'd be smoking a cigarette at this point, too. Want one? Sure. Sure. She's not going to like it. <coughs> Sorry. Huh. You remember when you saw me first? Back at the lodge? Yes. Check her for weapons. I liked you from the start. <laughs> That's sweet. You ever done something you regret? Even if it's something you knew you had to do? Yeah. All the time. Yeah. You know, I'll say one thing about Luke. No matter where you end up, there's always one bad seed rocking the boat. But I don't think he would have ever been that guy. I don't think so either. Let me ask you something, Clem. When's the last time anyone did what you wanted? I don't think she was ever in control enough. I don't really know what I want. Yeah. I don't think she's ever had the time to Maybe think I about it. thinking about it. You know, I've been all over. Run with a lot of people. A lot of men. <laughs> and listen to a lot of promises. Ain't one of them come true. I'm starting to think there might be another way, you know? I'm gonna go take a piss. You do that. By the way, girls do actually say shit like that. I'm gonna go take a piss. So. Don't think it's weird. I don't think it's weird. Anyway, okay, well, let's enter back in the house to get baby AJ. Let's see how he's doing. Hey. Hey. Well, she was watching us. Mike and Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. Seen that look before. Son of a bitch! I can't believe what he did to Arvo. Next time he's gonna kill him. Yeah. You really want to be around for that? Not really. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. Most of the time. I bet Carver was a nice guy too. Once. Probably had a nice job and a nice pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day, he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. Kenny isn't Carver. He just made a mistake. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. I think it needs food or something. <laughs> Seems like you've done that before. You wanna try? No way. It's gonna puke. Clem, no. <laughs> 
She said, uh uh, you're gonna try it out Hold anyway. It like this. <clears throat> hey. Hi. <laughs> My name's Jane. I think it's gonna puke. It's not gonna puke. You gotta hold its head. She's not it puked. It puked. Gross. <laughs> Why did it look like blood though? There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago, down near DC. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. All that for one person? That's what I'm saying. Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turned and ripped the neck right out of this old lady. Oh no. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky. Like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. Oh shit. He got it working. I get what she's trying to say. And I think they're both right. And then at the same time, I think they're both wrong. So, and the way the game is setting up, I'm like, so sorry. I feel what like I I'm gonna you. have to make a choice between them, and I am not ready to make that. So, what's the plan? <clears throat> so How much food do we have? At least a week. And for the baby? We need to find a place for the baby. Yeah, someplace warm. I agree. Should head back south. What? We're That's kind of freezing to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. It was right. Kenny's. <laughs> what if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? Hey. the fuck? It was just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry, we did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Y'all didn't talk about Wellington? This. You just Penny, stated. It's freezing up here, man. We don't have to leave right now. Let's just sleep on it. Well, that sounds sensible. Damn it, we don't have time. Says you. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go. And we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got to help an AJ. He's so selfish, man. What about Arbo? Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. So You're just gonna, gonna leave him? him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. I'm not leaving He's him. He's done. He's we kid. have to bring him with us. You killed his entire family, you're gonna bring him with you. He knows the area. Sorry. He can help us. Oh yeah, some help he's been. He got Luke killed. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation, but maybe if you'd eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. You ever think about that, Kenny? Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going inside. Wait, what happened last time? God damn it! I don't even know what to say. I no, I don't I didn't like any of those choices. No. Kenny needs to chill the fuck out. I agree with them. They need you to better go talk south. some sense into him. Why? Why do I have to do this? <laughs> For his sake. <clears throat> <clears throat> I don't like how this is my job. Like I said, I get it, but fuck. God damn it! That stupid fucking. Get the fuck out of here! It's me! Clem! Sorry, just. Give me a second. Close the door. Can you believe this, Clem? I bring them a working truck, and they act like I just shit in their cereal. I knew Jane would have a stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike would have more sense. Well, why can't we just leave tomorrow? Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem, think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, 
What if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. Maybe he shouldn't have. Don't you say that. I ought to slap you. No the fuck you don't. You know what he sacrificed for you? What I did? That means something, damn it! <sighs> I wish Lee was here. What'd you think he'd say? I think he'd tell me to try to keep the group together. And to keep my hair short. We can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew, and what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit, but where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? Yeah. You know, when I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat with those people at dinner, well, I knew you were growing up. And yeah, I felt sad, but also pride. Pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. Yeah, but we can't do it alone. We need the others. And that's why I gotta be able to count on you, Clem. We gotta convince them. You and me. Look, we'll figure everything out in the morning. I just don't trust going farther north. Come on, let's get some sleep. So we at gotta least be ready. down south, you won't freeze to death. <coughs> but... I don't know. Plus, in the south, there's a bigger population. So there's more supplies around. I don't know. Guys, <clears throat> y'all just gonna leave? I'm not pulling a gun. Who's on there? Them. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy. Easy now. Step back. Clown. Shit. What are you doing? The rest of it. Clem. Bonnie. Guys. We're just leaving. Keep it down, alright? Where are you going? Anywhere but here. Wait, I... What do you mean? It makes sense. Listen, we just gotta get away from <clears throat> that guy, Clem. Okay? Who? Kenny? Clem, damn it, just. We don't have time for this. Just... Just be quiet, Clem, please. Shit. Shoot, I kinda get it, right. you know. <laughs> I'm kinda with them. Oh, I know it's... Controversial now, opinion. walk up to you nice and slow, and you're gonna give me the gun, okay? Let me come with you. Sure, sure. Just give me the gun and we'll go. Just give me the gun, Clem. I'm not gonna hurt you. It's fine. Just... No! Clementine! Arbo, are you fucking kidding me? Clem, Clem! Bonnie, we have to go. Oh, Sorry, I, I didn't mean for this to happen. Oh my god, Clem! What the fuck did you do? Clem! What did you do? Clem! Clem! 
What if they just ended the game there? I doubt they would, but what if they did? The music. Shut up, the music. Clementine! <gasps> Why am I already crying? It's just a bad dream, sweet pea. Oh. Oh. <laughs> There's what was ben. it about? Duck? He's bit. Kaja. We don't know how this works life. yet. Maybe it's like a cold. It's not. <clears throat> Mom's a doctor. Maybe she can help him. It's not like a cold. No, it's probably not. I feel bad. Why? I called him a crybaby when I hid the bug in his pillow. Oh, that's okay, honey. He didn't mean it. Why did Lily do that to Carly? I don't know. She was sad, Clem. I can make people angry sometimes. Have you ever been that angry? One time. Clem. People don't always make sense. How come? Because bad things happen to everyone. And it's yeah. hard to keep being yourself after they do. Yeah. Do you think we should have let Lily stay? I don't know. <sighs> I don't either. If we did the right thing. How can you did. tell? Well, it's not like math, Clem. Sometimes there just isn't the right answer. I hate math. <laughs> Me too, sweet pea. Me three. Uh, but part of growing up is doing <coughs> what's best for the people you care about. <coughs> Even if sometimes that means hurting someone else. I don't want to hurt anyone. It's not that easy. I'm scared, Lee. What can I do you to make it better? That it'll be okay. It will. It's gonna get better, Clem. You'll make it better. Everything's gonna be all right. Try to get some sleep. Okay, Lee. We got to see him again. But... On the left! Slow down! Shut up! Oh, Jesus. She's awake! <clears throat> Piece of shit, Rusky shot you. We had to run the truck to keep you warm. How do you feel? It hurts. Couldn't find the bullet. Must have gone clean through. It'll burn a while, but you'll be fine. Those sons of bitches. 
I mean, I expected it from the Russian, but Mike? What happened I could tell them? they were working on something. Is Bonnie okay? They took off on foot. Didn't get this puppy thanks to you. Now that Clem's awake, we should talk about where we're going. We're headed north. What, to find Wellington? You sure talk a lot of shit, but you got a better plan? We head south, back to house. Carver's camp? The fuck kind of plan is that? I think Bonnie said there was more formula back there. And we actually know where it is. We should go back to house. Now, Clem? It's our best chance. I get it, just ganging up on Kenny now. Good. Kenny, come on. No, I see how this is gonna go. She's filling your head with bullshit. She can think for herself, Kenny. So let her, Jane. Look, I, I even am. if there is some place up here, it could take us weeks to find it. We could get back to Howe's in a day. Tell you what, we can turn around just as soon as you pry this wheel from my cold, dead fingers. How's that sound? Whatever. I give up. Get your feet off the dash. Let's play a game, Clem. I spy, with my little eye, an asshole. Your turn. Grow up. <laughs> Go to hell. I'll pull this fucking car over. Go ahead. You're both being children. Me? I couldn't see the damn road. Bet you're having trouble seeing a lot of things these days. You shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> I'm I so sorry. That was so funny. With you, Fuck you. You don't know a damn thing about me. Oh, I know exactly what you are. Nothing. Nobody cares about you. And you don't care about nobody but yourself. That makes That's you not true. nothing. What is it with you? It's your family, right? Don't. It is, isn't it? I'm warning you, you little shit. You're just another type A asshole trying to save a bunch of dead people. This isn't the time for this. No, this is exactly the time for this. You listen to me. You mouth off about my family and I will fucking end you. Jesus Christ, I'm so sick of this wounded warrior crap. Just pull over. I can't take this. What? Running away again? What a fucking shocker. In the end, still only care about yourself, right? And where were you when Sarita got bit, Kenny? Huh? Where were you? I was there. I couldn't... God damn you, I love that woman! Who could love you? Look at you. You can't raise this kid. Jane! He's scared to death of you. Nobody who died is anyone's fault. We, we all wanted to be together and it just went bad. But we owe it to them to try to make the best of this. I'm sorry, Clem, but I can't put up with this bullshit anymore. Oh, the feeling's mutual. You know the thing about people like you, Kenny? You're just a bomb waiting to go off. Everyone talks about you behind your back because they're afraid of you. That ain't true. Mike, Bonnie, Sarita. Fucking liar, that ain't true. Everyone around you knows that sooner or later, they're gonna end up dead. Sarita knew it, I know it, and so does Clementine. I told you not to talk about my family. Fuck you. You fucking piece of shit. Go to hell, you son of a bitch. Oh shit, watch Jesus. out, watch out, watch out. You okay? I'm fine. How's AJ? He's fine. Sure. Yes. Clem, you all right? Yeah. Kenny, I'm... Wait, hold on. Go around. One of them might have diesel. We shouldn't stop here. Diesel. We're running on fumes. Y'all have Got no choice. a diesel truck? Are you kidding me? When I holler, it's okay. Drive up closer. Anything happens, I'll try to meet you there. All right? If you're going, go now. Kenny! I don't like this. Fucking asshole. God! I can't do this anymore. I'm serious, Clem. I tried, but I just can't. Stop making him mad. Everything makes him mad. How are you not seeing that? That's well, true. all you're doing is just making it worse. You're just like him. Oh, no. Clem, we could leave. Right now. Are you I'm serious? Not gonna do that. What about AJ? Look, I, I know you're close to him, but Kenny would never let him go. This is our chance, Clem. No. Don't you ever want to know what it's like to live your own life? Shit. It's snowing. Why are they moving? They must not be cold enough yet. Fuck! Get us out of here! I don't know how to drive! See that pedal on the floor? Step on it! Oh, just sit there! Ah, uh, okay. Shit. 
I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh no. This is not gonna end well. Jane! Is Kenny okay? Okay, a lot just fucking happened. Um. Jesus. This is not gonna be well. This is not gonna end well. And also, I feel fucking smart because I predicted that something was going to happen. And yeah, so... This is not going to end well. And I'm probably going to end up crying again. But I mean, that's not a big surprise, let's be honest. I'm glad she could see that because I sure as shit couldn't. I can't see anything. I don't actually know where I'm going, to be honest. Uh, so... Yeah. <laughs> Kinda struggling. I'm surprised she just has bullets left, to be honest. Okay. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna follow the zombies, I guess. So. She's a sharpshooter. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just kind of walking towards the trees. I'm glad the game caught on, because I literally don't know where I'm going. Okay. That was the shortest mile I've ever seen in my life. Because that sign, whenever Kenny was like, I'll meet you there, worse is worse, it said a mile, the rest up was a mile away. And <laughs> we're already there? Make that make sense. Jane? <clears throat> Kenny? You alright? Yeah. Where is he? Where's the kid? He's with, with her. You left him with her? We've gone a Jane? car crash. Fun fact. So in climates where it snows, sound doesn't Wait. travel as easy because snow literally absorbs oh, thank Christ. sound. So in a place like this, Dane, you can scream, you okay? and scream and be Where's the kid? Dane. Not where as is he? normal non snowy environment. Where is he? Jane. He's Jane, what did you do what with are you him? Saying? Not again. Not again. Clem, look at me. No matter what happens, just stay out of it. What are you talking about? Okay? I 
don't understand. You have to trust me. We're gonna see what he really is. What? Baby's fine. Guarantee you. Kenny, calm down. Don't do anything stupid. Get out of my way. Kenny? Could you kill a fucking child? I didn't kill him. It was an oh, accident, shit. Kenny. I won't back down from you, Kenny. Shut up! Kenny, let her talk. I'm done talking, Clem. Clem, stay back. I don't like this. Don't you come near me, you son of a bitch. Kenny! Get Shit. the fuck up! Uh, fuck you! Uh, Stop! Please! <laughs> Guys, Shit. stop! Just go. Awful. I ain't going nowhere. Fucking psycho! Yes, it stop! You don't have to do this. I'll fucking kill you. I mean, I figured he was fine, but I didn't get that confirmation in. Oh my god, AJ! Oh my god! Are you okay? 
okay? He's alive. I understand if you're upset. AJ was never in any danger. I was just going to try to talk you into coming with me. I just thought if you saw Kenny like that, you'd know we'd have to leave him. That's manipulation. Look, you manipulated. I'm sorry. I didn't think Kenny would go that far. I don't understand. Kenny was dangerous, and I needed you to see that. I One knew that already. Another. What are you saying? I had to do she it. She fabricated Clem. this whole you thing. You saw how he reacted. So that we could I had to show you what he was capable her of. Side. That's what just fucking happened. It was a stupid plan. I should never have lied to you. No, you but fucking I shouldn't it have. was the only way you'd see. Oh my god. Kenny, you have to forgive me. Please. We can just leave all this behind us. No. Please. No. Fuck I'm you. Not going no. Anywhere with you. You don't just Clem, manipulate a situation like please. that. I did this for you. I thought the baby was dead. I figured he was I can't fine, do this but alone. I thought the baby was dead. Okay? Making Is that what you want to hear? Clem? That is so low. You don't do shit like that. Because you manipulate the situation and making Kenny look worse than he actually fucking was. And to make it look like death was the best thing for him. And it fucking wasn't. God, I'm so... Oh. That's so annoying. <laughs> is that a herd? Why is, is this game going to end the same way the first one did? It's so sad. The fact that it's dead silent. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay. I okay. <clears throat> protected the baby. You and fifty eight point six percent of players protected the baby, of course. Um, went to help Luke, you and thirty three. That's very low. 33% of players try to help Luke. I'm surprised it's that low. Luke is a very likable character. That seems kind of wrong, in my opinion. You and 19.1% of players wanted to leave with Mike. I thought that'd be the best choice scenario, because Bonnie and Mike seem to have their heads on pretty well. Um, but obviously they didn't wake out, so whatever. Uh, shot Kenny. You and 50.9% of players shot Kenny. And then... In the end, who are you with? And we're with no one but AJ. 25.7. These are very skewed. I don't think I've really had numbers like this. And that makes me kind of nervous for the next season. Um, not sure how I feel. I'm going to do a whole analysis at the end of the credits. But we're going to let these credits go. And we're going to cry and be sad. Um, but yeah, I'll see y'all at the end. <laughs>
All right, we are back from the credits, um, and it's time for me to talk and cry and be emotional. The second season was very good. I was a bit surprised. Usually sequels kind of struggle, um, but this season was just insane. Bringing back Clementine, showing us Clementine as she ages up, because she was like eight or nine in the first game, and at this point she's 11, um, and seeing the differences that she... Like, between her in the first game and her in the second game. Crazy insane. Um, and not just that. The, like, a normal 11-year-old in a normal world does not see half the shit that she had seen. She had killed people. She would killed how many walkers. She had seen how many people she loves die. She's seen people get tortured. She's seen people get murdered. Whatever. It's not normal. So seeing the decisions she has to make and the pressure on her shoulders just on this game alone compared to the last game is insane um and seeing the growth that she goes through as a result of that as this game went on was a lot and she did not deserve a lot of the pressure she had because she's 11 years old and like I said like earlier in this when they're by the campfire she's been through a lot yes but at the end of the day she's still a kid and it's just it's a lot to go through with that kind of pressure and making those kind of choices for a group of adults who for some reason couldn't I don't know I think I'm looking a little too much into it but whatever the ending and with Kenny I feel so betrayed by Jane um first of all why would you hide a baby in a car in the middle of a snowstorm just to prove a point we knew Clementine knows she knew how crazy Kenny could get. She knew. She didn't have to be proved that. Like, that was not a point that had to be proven to her. She knew. A matter of fact, with my choices, I asked Mike if I could go with them. Meaning, to other people, that was a point that people already knew about us. That we, we, we knew that Kenny was losing it. But directly... Um, approaching that with him would not have been a smart choice because he had gone through so much trauma already with losing his family and friends and whoever that it would just be a bigger deal than it has to be and it just would not have ended well at all. That was a little weird. Kind of betrayed by Jane and I don't regret my choice of leaving her and le leaving with Arvo alone. What I love was the thematic parallel between the ending of this game compared to the ending of the last game of the first game, season one. Seeing her walking alone with the baby in her hand directly shows her how she was at the end of the first game before she found Omid and Krista. Of course, she ended up finding them in that. Uh, it was confirmed those shadows that she found at the end were Omid and Krista. But aside from that, her being alone in a field, this time not the scared little girl, but this hardened veteran, so to speak, of this world who now isn't living just for herself, she has this baby she has to raise. But what's insane is that she's 11. She's young. This is not her kid, obviously. We know it's not. Um, but she knows she has to live to be in charge of this kid and help raise it and be there for it because no one else will. And I thought it was a very cool choice to bring that in, and I think that's amazing. This game was great. I am very sad that no one survived, though. At least the last game, Omid and Krista survived, and Lily maybe survived. We don't know. Grand Lily's not a great person, so I'm sure that'll come up later. But this game, the only person that might have survived is Jane, because um, we don't see her death. And then, of course, Bonnie, Arvo, and Mike. We never, we don't, we just hear that they ran off on foot, but we. Kenny could have murdered them. Let's be real. We don't know. We don't know. So who knows with that one? Seriously. Uh, but I hope they're okay because I actually genuinely like them. Arvo's a little questionable because he did lead to that shootout. That was his fault. But we also stole from him. So I kind of get it, you know, like whatever. But yeah, Kenny is unhinged and he didn't deserve to die like that, but I think it was probably the best choice to make in that decision because I didn't know. Like I, like I said in the playthrough, I figured AJ was alive, but I didn't know 
that that whole situation was set up by Jane and that's what pissed me off because that's just manipulating the situation trying to make her look like the good guy and make Kenny look the look like the bad guy when they both are off the deep end and get pissed and overly emotional over things very very easily I don't think they're opposites I think they're very very similar and that's why they butted heads so much and led to that final confrontation <clears throat> it just sucks the 11 year old had to make the choice on who wins and that's just heartbreaking i love this game my choices don't know if i did very well <laughs> um like i said in my comment section i think on episode two someone was telling me off for getting alvin killed and walter killed um so <laughs> well they weren't telling me off but it felt really hmm okay my next game is going to be season three um I'm going to put it out faster than I did this time around. I have a better schedule set up this time. So I'm going to try and release episodes um, every Monday going forward. We'll see if that actually ends up being stuck to. But Monday is going to be at least once a week. And then if it's a good week, then I'll release more throughout the week. But at the very least, going forward, we're going to have episodes coming out every single Monday. So today's... I'm recording this on Friday night, so it better be up by Monday. We'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching this series. I am um, having a splendid time crying all the time. My God, I cried like three times in this one episode alone. Crazy. Fucking crazy. Um, but either way, we'll see what season three leads us to. I know Clem's not the main character because um, I remember hearing about that. But other than that, I don't know anything about the plot. Zero clue. Zero. So I'm excited to see what happens and see what happens to AJ. Because we're with him. So we're going to see what happens. I don't know. Everything's going to be up in the air. Who knows? Um, but expect that. I want this episode to be up by Sunday or Monday. And if it's up by Monday, then I'm going to try and play season three to come out on Friday. We'll see what happens, though. I apologize ahead of time if I don't make it work. Y'all know me. Whatever. I enjoy each of you who watch and subscribe and interact with me. Y'all are amazing and I love you all so much. Um, I do have my uh, social media handles at the end of this and my outro if y'all are interested in following me on anything and want to complain about me not posting more often because that's totally fair <laughs> if you want to do that. Um, I also want to do other kinds of videos besides video games. I'm just trying to get this series out. Um, after this series is over, I may be doing Call of Duty. Not all of them. Not all of them. But the new Modern Warfare remake is coming out next month. And I kind of am thinking about doing the first one, which came out in 19. And do going into the new one coming out in 2022. Because I love the side characters. They're so, so good. It's oh, so good. <clears throat> but I'm not quite sure if it's going to be too controversial. Because there are parts of it that are a little strange. It's not the original Modern Warfare where they have the no Russian mission. That's not a part of it. But it's like, I don't know. I'm going to do some more research. So we're going to see if I think that would be a good idea. But that's something I'm thinking about doing. So if that's something y'all think is going to be good, then y'all let me know. Otherwise, after this series is over, we'll be doing um, Jedi Fallen Order. So either that or Modern Warfare. We're not sure yet. I'm going to look into it and come up with a conclusion and see what I think will be, be the, the better fit for us right now um if there's any other games coming out that i should pay attention to oh stray i was gonna play stray i forgot about that we'll play stray too that's in the queue i promise uh <laughs> sorry i apologize um it'll be out eventually and then next month is october <sighs> y'all i don't know what i'm doing i don't know either way i will be playing something thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in the next thing of whatever i do i love you all so much and i'll see y'all with whatever the fuck i do next and deuces bye <laughs>